So Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, basically just revealed his master plan. And it's pretty insane. We're talking trillion dollar data centers, partnerships with both Nvidia and Oracle, a potential move into the hardware space with Johnny Ive. And in his new blog post, he literally talks about building a factory that pumps out a gigawatt of AI infrastructure every single week. That's a whole nuclear power plant every week. Let's get into it. All right, so it all starts with this tweet. Altman writes, over the next few weeks, we're launching some new compute intensive offerings. Because of the costs, some of this stuff will only be available to pro subscribers. And some new products might even come with extra fees. He then goes on to say, our intention is still to aggressively drive the cost of intelligence down to zero, but we also want to see what's possible when we throw more compute at quote, interesting new ideas. So I'm definitely excited to see what these interesting new ideas are, but my initial thought after reading this post was where are they getting the compute from? I mean, all we've been hearing about these last couple of weeks is that OpenAI is completely maxed out on compute. And sure enough, just one day later, we got the answer. Nvidia announced a new strategic partnership with OpenAI to deploy 10 gigawatts of Nvidia systems. That is the equivalent to millions of GPUs. And to support this partnership, Nvidia will be investing up to $100 billion into OpenAI progressively as each gigawatt is deployed. So this is a massive partnership. And it comes right after OpenAI's five-year, $300 billion cloud deal with Oracle. That is an even bigger partnership. So OpenAI is securing a ton of compute. And we're going to see the results of that in only a few short weeks, according to Sam Altman. But just think about the ridiculous amount of AI infrastructure that's being built out right now. And that will only come online within the next few years. That is what's truly exciting. I mean, OpenAI still has Project Stargate on top of all this. Their $500 billion AI infrastructure buildout with Oracle and SoftBank. There was reports of struggles with this deal, but OpenAI just announced this week that they are actually ahead of schedule and have secured five new sites. This brings Stargate to nearly 7 gigawatts of planned capacity and over $400 billion in investment over the next three years. Absolutely insane. OpenAI will likely be the first AI company to build out a trillion dollars worth of data centers. That's if Elon Musk doesn't beat them to the punch. And the crazy thing is, this is all coming online within the next few years. By 2030, the compute coming online will be on the scale of an entire nation's power grid. We're talking about OpenAI and its partners operating infrastructure bigger than what entire countries control. And that's just OpenAI. There's also Google, Meta, XAI, Anthropic, and the many others who are all trying to do the same thing. Now, if you think about what that compute will unlock, sure, you can imagine more powerful and useful models. But according to Sam Altman, the implications go way beyond that. Take a look. The compute constraints that the whole industry has been, in our company in particular, have been terrible. Um, we're so limited right now in the services we can offer. There's so much more demand than what we can do. And, and as we look forward another year or two years, if you have you know, let's say it takes 10 gigawatts of compute or 5 gigawatts of compute. You could choose one of two things. You could choose to cure cancer by doing a bunch of, having AI do a bunch of research, or you could choose to offer free education to everybody on Earth. No one wants to make that choice. And so increasingly as we see this, the answer is just much more capacity so that we can serve the massive needs and opportunity with this. So yeah, I don't know if we'll be curing cancer by next year, but clearly this is going to have a huge impact. And to kind of tie this all together, what you can call Sam Altman's master plan, here is a brand new blog post he posted titled Abundant Intelligence. In it, he talks about how AI is becoming the fundamental driver of the economy and how they're laying out the groundwork to be able to significantly expand the buildout of AI infrastructure because of this. He writes, Our vision is simple. We want to create a factory that can produce a gigawatt of new AI infrastructure every week. The execution of this will be extremely difficult. It will take us years to get to this milestone, and it will require innovation at every level of the stack, from chips to power to building to robotics. 
But we have been hard at work on this and believe it is possible. In our opinion, it will be the coolest and most important infrastructure project ever. So yeah, that's not just scaling up, that's industrializing intelligence. A gigawatt a week is literally the equivalent of adding a nuclear power plant of compute to the grid every single week. And if this sounds insane, that's because it is. We've never seen anything even close to the scale of this. The only real comparison you can make is the early days of the internet. Back then, companies and governments were racing to lay down fiber optic cables, build server farms, and expand bandwidth as fast as possible just to keep up with demand. But even that looks tiny next to what's happening here. Now, before we move on from OpenAI, we have to talk about their plans to get into the hardware game. This week, we got new details on the mysterious AI devices they're working on with Apple's former design chief, Johnny Ive. One of the prototypes reportedly resembles a smart speaker without a display. And apparently, they've also considered building smart glasses, a digital voice recorder, and a wearable pin. With the first products targeted for late 2026 or early 2027. So this is the first time we're hearing that it's not just one device, I believe, but potentially a whole line of hardware products. I always thought it would be just the one screenless, always on, pocket sized iPhone replacement type device, but clearly OpenAI has bigger ambitions. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this for more details. All right, now let's move away from Sam Altman for a second because the rest of the AI world was just as wild this week. In Albania, the prime minister announced a new AI minister named Diella, basically pitching it as the world's first fully AI cabinet member. And right after making the announcement, one of his own ministers literally threw a trash bag at him in parliament. Yes, this actually happened. Riktimin e seans për të vijuar prezantimin e programit qeverisës ngriti opozitën në foltore, e largoj kërëj ministrin prej saj. So, as funny as this looks, it's kind of a microcosm of what's to come. The majority of people aren't going to welcome AI taking their jobs, especially the people in powerful positions who have the most to lose. And not only will they not welcome it, they'll fight against it, even if that means literally throwing trash. But at the same time, other places are moving in the complete opposite direction. Abu Dhabi, for example, just announced they want to replace their entire government with AI by 2027. Not assistance, not pilot programs, a full AI-run state. So obviously, some will embrace AI more than others, but it seems like AI will inevitably infiltrate every corner of society, even government. Personally, I think this could be a good thing. As, in theory, AIs won't be tempted to be corrupt like humans are. But then again, the question is, who is controlling the AIs? If the AI is merely a puppet, like most politicians are anyway, what's the difference really? But anyway, this isn't a politics channel. This is an AI channel. So let's get back on topic. In other AI news this week, Unitree's G1 robot learned anti-gravity mode. You can kick it, punch it, throw it down, even straight up attack it. And no matter what you do, it always bounces back, and surprisingly fast. The movement of these robots is already ridiculous, way beyond what I think anyone could have predicted. And it feels like only a matter of time before these things are everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. They won't just be in humanoid form either. Boston Dynamics has started testing their robot's arm gripper with DHL this week and it reportedly unloads trucks up to two times faster than humans. That alone could wipe out a huge chunk of warehouse jobs. And finally, Skilled AI showed off what they're calling an omni-skilled brain. Basically, one AI system that can control lots of different robot bodies, trained from simulation. And the craziest example? A robot dog that literally had its legs chopped off, and still kept moving. It just adapted and found a way to keep working. So yeah, even with the limited AI infrastructure and compute we have today, we're still seeing incredible progress on virtually every front. And if you think about the next few years, as we 10x or even 100x our compute capacity, it's only going to get crazier. Anyways, that's all for this week's AI recap. 
If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments, what are you most excited to see come out of all this compute coming online in the next few years? Personally, for me, it would be curing cancer. I know that sounds ridiculously naive to say, but hey, Altman did put it out there. Anyways, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.